Hey guys, welcome to Flat Tutorials, and this is How to Make a Car Game episode 12. And today we're gonna create a system. Uh, so basically, for the system, we're gonna create a feature for our car so that when we're gonna when we're gonna uh, when we're gonna hold down our space key, uh, the car will gonna stop real fast. This is basically we're applying the hand brakes onto the car. So. Uh, when we're gonna hold down the space key, the car will gonna stop real fast, and we're gonna show re uh, red glowing lights. And uh, when we're gonna apply the brakes, the car will gonna slip a bit from its back there according to the speed. So, uh, so first thing that we have to do is to go onto the car car control script and open it up. And we're gonna create a new variable, and this variable is gonna be brake, and it's gonna be up type boolean. Which is set to false, and we want another variable. Variable max brake torque, and it is gonna be equals to, and it's gonna be an type load, and set the value to and right. Okay, now what we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to go over here and go to create a new function. Now function. Uh, it's going to be handbrake, handbrake, and uh, we're going to call this function from the fixed update too. So go on to the fixed update, where the hell is fixed update? Alright, fixed update. I want to paste your file over here, and now the function is called. Called, and now we're going to check if we are holding down the space key. So if input dot get button jump jump basically uh, the space key on the input manager and we're gonna check not holding it in else else so we're gonna go over here then break is equals to true else is a sub to sub to false Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna create another statement if break. Now if break means break is equals to true, then execute the statement which is inside uh, onto this if statement. Okay. Now let's uh, go over to the tab and you can see uh, the V collider RL and RR dot break torque values. Copy this thing. And come back over here. Okay, so wheel rr dot break dot break torque. Now I use I choose wheel rr because this is the wheel that is having the motor torque onto itself. Onto itself. So uh, now just it is set that equal to maximum brake torque. And again over here. And we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna set the motor torque of him to uh, zero. So this is a statement and again go over here just a bunch of copy and pasting okay now set the motor torque to zero now what we need uh, is we have set the motor torque zero and brake torque uh, is applied now what we wanted to check when we are getting input so we are here we are getting input and here we are normalizing the speed so I want to check this is set the speed to underscore brake that's it. Okay. Now this is a statement is only gonna execute if the break is equals to false. It means we are not holding down the space key. Okay. Now come over here onto the backlight section and onto every section type and explanation mark, which is equal, uh, which is basically setting used for setting a boolean, checking if the boolean is set to false or not. So I'm going to just copy this uh, and paste it on every else of the statement, so like this. And onto the else statement, where we are setting the lights to idle one, then we're going to type else rate is equal to false. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to check uh, what we wanted to do. Is uh, we want to check if the car is stopped or not, and if it is stopped, then turn off the red lights, and if it is uh, going forward, then turn on 
the red lights while the brakes are applied. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement, which is saying current if current see what our e in t current speed is smaller than two and current speed is greater than negative two. Then set that to idle lights else set this to brake lights. So what this means is uh, uh, if we are setting if uh, the speed is in this criteria, then set the, set it to idle lights means uh, turn off the lights, and if it is not, then turn on the red lights. And I want to set it to one, not uh, zero, uh, two. We're gonna be more specific than that. Okay, now let's go over here and check it out if it's working or not. So the code has got compiled, and you can see the boolean over here. Let's check it. Okay, now we are going, and I have applied the brake. Car stopped. The light turned on. Great. So this is working. Now we have a problem. When we are going pretty fast, and we have applied the brake, the car just stopped. Um, and we know that if we are at a speed, and we just um, stop, uh, lock the wheels at their position, the car does have a lot of slip onto it. So that slip we're going to add in our next episode because that tutorial is going to be having a lot of explanation about the wheel friction curve and all that. So till then, uh, goodbye, keep making games. If you have any problems, uh, write on the comments. And I have got uh, some a lot of uh, messages on my last episode that they are, they are having problem with their uh, cars uh, uh, with the wheel position. Now, the problem is, uh, basically I found that uh, some people are having the wheel positioning changed onto the center section. Now, don't do that, and don't change the scale factor. Just if you want to scale it, do the radius, uh, change the radius, and set, uh, change it uh, from uh, from the pivot section. Don't change it from uh, uh, you know. Don't change it rawly. Just, uh, just uh, do it uh, that I showed in my tutorials. Okay. Uh, and the next problem is um, unfixed pivot onto the models. Now, people are having really unfixed pivot onto, onto their models, and that's why uh, the wheel goes up and down and behaves weirdly. So you got to have to check if your pivot is on the middle or the unit sections are equal to each other. Okay, so uh, I'll catch you in my next episode. Till then, guys, keep making games, subscribe, like, comment, share. If you have any problems, you can always contact me, and yeah, so uh, I wanted to explain to you this code, yeah, uh, so here we are doing the handbrake system, handbrake uh, is basically, we have called this from the pixel update loop, and we are checking if we are holding the jump key down, means we are holding the space down or not, and if we are due, then brake is equals true, else the brake is equals to false, and if the brake is equals to true, then the brake torque means we are applying the brake, um, we are applying the brake and setting the motor torque to zero so that uh, everything is stop. And we are checking if the if the speed is, is in this criteria, then change the light to this and then change the light to this. And we are checking if we are we are not applied the brake, then we can uh, work. Uh, then this script is going to work usually. And if we do have uh, do have applied the brake, then this statement will never going to execute. Uh, only this execute uh, statement will execute. Okay, and. Uh, uh, I hope that I've explained you everything and set this break to private variable because we don't want to see it in uh, our uh, in the interface so it isn't going to be invisible okay so I'll catch you in my next episode tell them keep making games if you have any problems you can always contact me and yeah uh, and the next episode is going to be uh, pretty awesome because we are have, we are going to be applying slip onto our wheels. So I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.